Good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Thursday, February the 8th. We are almost to Friday. Welcome, welcome to morning announcement. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. That was from Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass was an amazing African-American author, um, advocate, and educator. He took the time to understand that struggle is a part of the process. So if you're struggling in your life, anything, to see things, to learn new things, to even maybe get along with someone, that's a part of life is the struggle. He felt like without struggle, without challenges, you would not grow. And so if you're struggling with anything, staff, students, parents, issues, concerns within yourself, you have to understand that's a part of your story. And when you struggle and when you are in a situation where it's really hard for you, that's when you'll get progress in your life. Thank you, Frederick Douglass, and the history that you put on Black History Month. All right, let's take a deep breath in and out. <sighs> Smile, take a deep breath and relax. That's what we're doing today. High five, elbow, um, all those good things this morning to connect. What are your commitment? Are you doing your homework? Are you cleaning up? Are you taking some deep breaths in and out? Are you encouraging each other? What are you doing? All right, let's take a deep moment to just wish each other well. Are we are looking towards um, wishing things well in our country, our family? So much going on. We never know how that's going to affect people. Let's all take a deep breath in. And out we go. Teaching staff, I will develop and support my students to grow at MMA. Students, I can try and work hard to grow every day. All right, all right. Again, I ready, I ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm looking forward to pulling those reports on Fridays to see who's passing lessons. Um, we have a lot of work to do. We've gotten our NWA scores and I will share that with you. But as we move forward, we know we're not what we need to be. So everybody got to do their part, including students doing I ready at home, as well as we're working with it in the classroom. All right. Integrity is doing the right thing when no one is looking. Empathy, showing people and thinking about other people. We all have different um, ideas and things in our mind. We have to be mindful to show people empathy, show people that we care, treat people the way we want to be treated. And if you notice that someone is sad, angry or frustrated, try to talk to him about it. OK, and work through it. MMA, maintain respect, make good choices, always be safe. We had an assembly this week. Uh, make sure you stay out of those hallways. Teachers, they must have a pass. Um, Miss Renee, shout out to her. She made passes for a lot of you all. Take care of those bathroom passes in recess. Make sure we clean up the equipment. And again and again, make sure that in the lunchroom, we are following directions and in our seat. All right, brag tags. We have more. Continue to keep going. You see something, you say something, that's school safety. Make sure we take care of one another. Outside for recess, make sure, teachers, you're taking lead while you're out there. I need teachers up and around, walking around, interactive. We do not need the teachers standing around during recess because that's how kids get involved. Get in the middle of all that. Make sure you're out there, not standing by the door, not sitting, but really taking the time to walk around during recess to participate so it can cut down all that busyness. And again, make sure we put the equipment up. All right. Quiet Coyote. We got about 11 weeks to get to go on Friday is 100 days of school left because come Friday we will be in school for 100 days. Can y'all believe it? We've been in school for 100 days. That's a lot of days, y'all. So the state of Michigan says you have to be in school for 180 days. And I was going around giving a math assignment. If we've been in school for 100 days already and we have 180 days, they told us, what's 180 minus 100? A lot of my students got it right. It is 80. So we have 80 more days of school. And when I tell you there's going to be all of us working hard together to get that done, teachers got to be consistent on their small groups with math and passport and making sure you're getting what you need, writing, reading. Parents got to be consistent in following up. Students, you got to be consistent about coming to school and following directions and trying your hardest to get that work done. And ask questions. A lot of work to do. We got 80 days left and we got to rock it out hard. I need my teacher to take care of yourself so you're here feeling good and making sure we work together. 
I'm excited about that 50 percentile that we're going to make for NWA, but I can't be the only one that push it. This is a team effort. Let's get that attitude together, students. Let's sit down. Let's focus. Teachers, get your lesson plans and get organized. Let's be prepared and make it happen, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Today for lunch, you have pizza, salad, and milk. And of course, you have fruit. Events coming up. Valentine's Grams are next week from February 12th through the 16th. Black History Month trip is next week on February the 15th. Then we have no school next Friday. I keep forgetting to put that slide up. No school next Friday because we have a professional development day. And then next Monday, you have no school because it's President's Day. So I will put that up there. We have a dance coming up, y'all, on the 17th, which is next weekend. Tickets are on sale to next week. And, of course, we have game night on February 22nd. Lots of fun things going on. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday to these amazing students. Um, shout out to Mr. Mike. Yesterday was Mr. Mike's birthday. Mr. Mike, we wish you well on your birthday, and we hope you had an incredible day yesterday. All right, everybody, have a good day and make some good choices. We know we can do it.